Bully Backyard Bullion here and I'm joined today by the one, the only, the wonderful Mrs Backyard Bullion. And today we have a bit of a different style video. Normally we would talk about lovely shiny things made of silver or gold, but this week we are coming to you from Scotland whilst we're on holiday and we've discovered an incredible hand poured chocolate maker, I guess we could call it, in the form of these chocolates from Charlotte, Charlotte Flower. And uh, we wanted to give her a bit of a kind of showcase and shout out. We've also got some lovely whiskey and that will come into it as well because the whiskey is how we even discovered her chocolate in the first place. And before we go on, I just want to put a little note here to say that we're not being sponsored by Charlotte Flower. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. We just really love her chocolate and we wanted to give her a shout out. She's a small business working from home as well. And it was really fun to meet her and talk with her and taste her chocolate and, as you can see, buy a bunch of her chocolate too. So uh, this is not a sponsor video, we just thought it would be fun for you to see. And if you are a chocolate fan, then I would highly recommend that you go and check out her website. Uh, she did say though she does not ship outside of Europe. She mainly ships to the UK. Uh, she has to Europe a few times, she said, but predominantly it's the UK. So for you American viewers here, you can appreciate the glorious tale and chocolate that we're going to tell, but perhaps not be able to taste it. But for anyone in the UK, highly recommend Charlotte Flower chocolates. So uh, yeah, we're up in the Highlands of Scotland, just uh, north of Edinburgh, in a place called Aberfeldy, or nearby Aberfeldy anyway. And uh, we've discovered this fantastic chocolatier by visiting a whiskey distillery, which is a really happy happenstance, I suppose, wasn't it? Yeah. We've really enjoyed going to these different um, distilleries. As you can see, we've got a whole array and selection of small aeroplane bottles of whiskey. They're really fun and good way to be able to sort of taste loads of different whiskies without breaking the bank balance. Um, but the Aberfeldy distillery is really interesting, and that's where our story starts, because uh, this is the closest distillery to where we were staying and we wanted to go and do a tour there and we had a look online and we saw that they did a whiskey and chocolate tasting session with a tour. And Mrs Backyard Bullion is not the biggest fan of drinking whiskey neat. By itself. By yeah. itself, no. Um, so the chocolate was more of the allure for her than the whiskey was, but nevertheless it was a fantastic tour, fantastic day at the, uh, the Aberfeldy distillery where they actually make the Dewar's Blended Scotch Whiskey. And for those in America, you probably will recognize, we've got another one here, I think, haven't we? The 12 year. Yeah. Uh, you'll probably recognize Dewar's as it's one of the biggest whiskey sellers or whiskey selling brand in North America, we were told anyway. So um, you guys in America probably recognize this. In the UK, probably not so much because this stuff isn't sold commercially in the UK, apparently, because it's just so big in the US. I think, I think only certain um, uh, sort of bottles that they make are available in the UK. Yeah, it's like very limited edition stuff from the Dewar's brand. They do have obviously the single malt stuff at Aberfeldy as well, the Aberfeldy single malts that I think are available in the UK, but the Dewar's label, white label stuff is uh, very American heavy in that market. But anyway, back to the chocolate tastings. They had this fantastic chocolate with this incredible whiskey. And I want to put a little shout out in here to Craig and Adam the barman and the tour man at the Aberfeldy Distillery. Adam gave us a fantastic tour, really fantastic stuff. And Craig was an absolute star because the whiskey that we tasted with this chocolate here, which we absolutely loved, was the Dewar's 18 year old blended Scotch whiskey. And uh, Craig went and scoured the depths of the storerooms to find one of the last big bottles of it that they had because they were still waiting on uh, a whole batch coming through from their bottling team but it wasn't there in the shop. So he did a fantastic job of getting that for us. But what was really nice was it's pairing with this chocolate, this Venezuelan, um, I can't even pronounce it. What would you say? Ocumare. Yeah. Venezuela Ocumare chocolate. And it just brought out the flavors in the whiskey really well. Even you like the whiskey after the chocolate. Yeah. I think what was really interesting is that Charlotte Flower makes them in chocolate thins, which yeah. we haven't come across, so you... but um, it actually really brings out um, tasting chocolate as well as the whiskey, um, but really recommend it. It's a different way of eating chocolate. Like I, the one I'd come across was really chocolate in blocks, isn't it? Your standard it was, um, yeah. in, in bars. Um, but the way it's made in thins it makes it very unique um, and it's beautifully made, yeah. um, as you can tell with the patterns. Um, so it's a bit difficult to show the patterns in the bag, but you can see some of them there. It's really, really talented 
very intricate designs. And um, these bags we've got are what are called the shards, the chocolate shards, as you can see there. Um, if you have a look the... at the website, she she does do bars as well. Yeah. Um, but also ganaches. Yes, we've got a whole bunch of ganaches here. Um, it's a bit difficult to open this packet because it's all sealed. Um, but that's sort of an image there of some of the ganaches that she's got. They're kind of um, chocolate coated ganaches, so they yeah. they keep a little longer. But they've also got cream and things in them, so they don't necessarily uh, keep as long as regular chocolate here. But they're really really tasty, aren't they? Absolutely yeah. stunning. And what Charlotte uh, does is she'll uh, infuse a lot of her chocolates with... Seasonal. Well, seasonal, yeah, exactly. Products, it's it's stuff that she can either source locally uh, or... She goes out and hand picks them. Yeah, she forages for things, which I thought was really quite refreshing to see. And she even showed us this bucket of, I think it was clove root that she was saying. And Something she, like that. she had to process it to bring out some of the flavours and smells in it. Um, but, you know, sort of really, really interesting stuff of how she was creating these chocolates, which I which we just really loved. And because she hand makes them and they're only in small batches, it means that um, she might not always have certain availability um, depending on what it is that you are after. Yeah. But we think it actually adds to the branding, makes it very unique. Um, and also I think um, makes products that are um, environmentally very, um, what's it, what word? A bit more sustainable, sustainable isn't it? Sustainable, yeah. And, and it's interesting because she, um, she was telling us that a lot of the cocoa butter that she uses in the, her chocolates is what's called, it's odorized rather than deodorized. So you get a lot more flavor coming through the chocolate with the, uh, with the cocoa butter, certainly in the white chocolate she was telling us. So a lot of the chocolate, that you're, you know, white chocolate you might buy off the shop shelves will have completely deodorized chocolate, uh, sort of cocoa butter. So it's just the flavors that you put in that come out. Whereas this actually has a really aromatic, what's the word? Aromatic. Ar aromatic, that's it. Um, flavor that comes out with the chocolates as well. So it's really, really tasty, very cool. Sometimes I think white chocolate isn't, um, hasn't got the same, uh, I guess, um, Kind of famous chocolate. Yeah, it's not it's not seen as the haute cuisine of chocolate, is it? It's yeah. like the, the dark chocolate is always the one that gets the And sometimes accolades. I find it overly sweet, but actually um the white chocolates that she makes um is really lovely and I'd highly recommend it. Yeah, definitely. So uh if you are up in sort of the north part of Scotland, uh, it's not even that oh, far in north. We're in, we're in sort of central Scotland, basically north of Edinburgh. Um Aberfeldy, there's the name of the town that we're in. And in but fact, she's based she, in... Well, exactly. So we're near Aberfeldy, but she's based, I don't know if it says it on... So here on the back, you've got her, of course, yeah. on her card as well, uh, her address there in a little village called Achran on Loch Tay, glorious loch. And we did an incredible walk after visiting her, uh, her workshop, so to speak. She's got a kitchen in her own house specifically made for uh, making chocolates, which was really, really cool. She does even chocolate uh, making sessions, like workshops and things as well. So if you are in the region, then definitely go and say hello. And uh, here's a few little clips of video and a few photos of the big, gorgeous walk we did with these waterfalls in the background. So it's an absolutely glorious part of the world, as you can see, so scenic. And, you know, a huge thank you to uh, to Charlotte for letting us talk her to death for like half an hour in her chocolate room. I know she was busy on that day and then she had uh, us to contend with as well. So it was a really, really fun day. And I would highly recommend that you go and purchase some chocolates from Charlotte Flower if you are in the UK. Uh, I know as well she's got some plans for 
Christmas advent calendars coming up as well, mm. which we really like the sound of. Um, would make really good Christmas presents. And I think would make a fantastic, well, it'd be sort of an early Christmas present because yeah, you have to Christmas give them presents. at the beginning of December. Yeah. But um, it, was, it was really fun. And I'm sure that when we get our um, advent calendar, I might just showcase it yeah. again. We'll do another little shout out. She's a really nice person, really nice chocolatier, so to speak, or chocolate silver. No, not silver. I'm talking about myself. Hand poured chocolate pourer maker. I don't know. She's very good at what she does, and you should go and check her out. There's her website. Very experienced. As very well. experienced. There's much her... more experienced than we are running a small <laughs> business. <laughs> yes, yes. That was that was the last thing to say. It was really refreshing to actually talk to somebody who who feels the same aches and pains as we do of running a small business from home and. Uh, but, but has been doing it a lot longer. She's been doing it a lot longer. Over twenty years. A lot, a lot better than us. So that's <laughs> basically it for today. Go and visit Charlotte Flower Chocolates. As I said at the start of the video, we're not in, you know, commercially endorsing. You know, make your own decisions if you like chocolate. We really like her stuff and it was very good. So uh, go and have a look. And of course, if you're in the, in the area, go and check out these fantastic distilleries as well, especially the Aberfeldy. And say hello to Adam and Craig, the two wonderful members of staff there. Otherwise, that's it from us. For those of you who are shiny magpies and want to see just one last flash of silver, if you've not checked out the laser hallmarking video we did, then it's well worth looking at. I'll put a link down in the description below. Really fun. And there's a few sights and sounds of Scotland and Edinburgh in there as well. Um, so yeah, Silver Forum on tour with whiskey, chocolate and laser hallmarking. What more can you want from a Scottish holiday? That's us signing off. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that like button and share it around on your social media if you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see future videos from us, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications on and you'll get, of course, a notification when we upload videos. Otherwise, that's it for today. Thank you one and all for watching. Goodbye from me and goodbye from... Mrs. Packyard Bullion. Bye-bye. We'll see you on the next one.